Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Uh, this morning I'm going to be doing a uh, tutorial on how to create a uh, car wheel or a car rim from a uh, profile. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up Design Spark Mechanical. And then we're going to go ahead and go File New. New Design. Make sure it's in inches. Change here with this eye icon <coughs> plan, plan view. Okay, we're going to minimize. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're going to drag in our wheel profile. I'm going to put it right center on those red lines. Now, obviously, this is just going to be for demonstration purposes. So this tire isn't going to be to, to size. It won't be scale, but it'll give you an idea how to create the uh, the wheel. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is <clears throat> go ahead and blow that up. We're going to pan and we're going to start drawing our lines. So we'll go ahead and turn off, get our line tool, and we're going to turn off the snap to grid. So we'll just go ahead and uh, start up here. Well, that's going to be uh, 0.220. So we'll go ahead and draw there. We'll just draw straight across. And we'll come up. And we'll drag straight across. And we'll get our select tool to end that. Now we're just going to use mostly offsets to create the rest of this. So we'll go ahead and get our offset tool. And we're going to go ahead and offset this down. About there. I'm going to offset. Um, go ahead and get our line tool, put an angle in there for our first line. That's good there. Get our select tool. I'm going to go ahead and get our offset. I'm going to go ahead and offset that up. Get rid of this line here, we don't need it. Now we're going to get our, uh, this is called create corner. So we'll go ahead and click there, click there to create that corner. Now we're going to go ahead and get our offset again. And we'll offset this down. And we'll offset that down again. Okay, now we'll go get our trim away tool. Start cutting away some of the stuff that we don't need. Okay, we got that part there. <clears throat> now we're going to go ahead and get our line tool. I'm going to put, <clears throat> put a line right here. Get our select tool. Now we're going to go ahead and offset that line. Let's offset it across to here. All right, now we'll get our other line tool again. We're going to come from here, straight up. And straight over, get our select tool. I'm gonna go ahead and trim away. Start trimming away this stuff here. Okay, now we'll get the uh, line tool again. Go ahead and go from here straight down. Get the select tool, grab our trim away tool. Trim away this stuff here. Don't need it. Okay, now we have the, <clears throat> the basics up here, and now we got to put in this part right here. So we'll go ahead and get our our tool. We'll come down a little bit. We'll come over a little bit, and then we'll come down, go straight across here. Get our select tool to end. Now we're going to go ahead and get our offset tool. And offset that across so there. We're going to get our line tool. I'm going to come from there straight up. Go ahead and get select to end it. We're going to go ahead and change to our create corner. We'll select that, select that. 
at the corner there. Go ahead and delete, trim away, trim away that, trim away that, trim away that there. Go ahead and get our line tool. We'll drag a straight line down. Get select tool to end. We'll get our trim away tool. We'll cut there and we'll cut there. We'll trim those two places. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and get the line tool again. I'm going to come straight down. This is probably what I should have done initially, but that's okay. Get our select tool, grab the line tool, come straight down to there, grab the trim away tool, get rid of that piece, get rid of that piece. We're going to put our hole, our lug nut hole through in later. So we'll go ahead and control plus to zoom in, grab our pan tool. We're going to pan down a little bit. We're going to get another line tool. We're going to go from there straight down. Select to click off. Then we're going to grab our trim away tool. Let's cut these pieces here. All right. Now we're going to start softening stuff up with some radiuses. So we'll go ahead and get our uh, crate rounded corners. We'll start here. Uh, let's just put in a 0.5 radius. Actually, that should be 0 0.05. Hmm. All right, let's just go 6.6. Six. That's fine. There we go. Grab our rounded corner. We'll do this one over here. Get that one there. Put a little rounded corner in there. A little bit of one in there. Let's get this rounded corner there. We can put a slight one right here. This might come out better if it's rounded. We'll do one there too. Do one there. So to do the rounded corners, I'm just clicking once. Clicking twice, and it's putting that rounded corner in for me. All right. It don't look too bad. We'll do some rounded corners here. Okay. I'll go ahead, and uh, I see a little piece up there that needs trimming, so we'll go ahead and get our trim away tool. Trim that. Let's control minus to zoom out. Okay, this is going to be our, our basis for our wheel. So we're going to come in here with a construction line. And we're going to put a construction line right here. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get rid of our drawing. Let's control plus to zoom in. Let's take a look, make sure everything looks good. Rounded corners where we want them. Probably around the corner right there. I should add a fillet here. Okay, looks good. Go ahead and select the click off. Now we're going to control minus to zoom out. We're going to grab our pan tool, going to pan up a little bit. Now we're going to come in here. We're going to say pull. We're going to select the half of the rim. We're going to come over here to revolve. We're going to select our construction line and then we're going to click this, which is full pull. And now we're going to control minus. We're going to actually spin this around. This is going to be our rim, our tire rim. We want to spin around to here. Let's go ahead and click on this face. Go change to click this plan, plan view. We want to control plus to zoom in. Grab our pan tool. Let's pan up a little bit. We're going to put some lug nuts in here. Let's go ahead and get your circle tool. We can turn on the snap to grid if we want. We'll go ahead and put a lug nut there. We don't want it to be that big though, so we'll turn off snap. We want to make it like let's go 
0.164. All right, so we want to go ahead and do a five hole pattern. So we're going to go ahead and click the circle there. We're going to go select move. We're going to come down here to the palette and say create pattern. We're going to drag this down to the center. And then we're going to click the blue arrow and we're going to rotate around until we have five. And then select off. Okay, we're going to give this a little spin so we see what's going on. We're going to say pull or select pull. We're going to click on by holding down the control key. We're going to get all these points here, all these circles. Now we're going to click and drag through all the way through. All right, now control minus to zoom out. This is going to be our rim uh, with five lug nuts and the axle. Now we would actually put a tire up in here. So to do that, we would go ahead and click on this piece here, say plan view. Go ahead and pan down. Let's zoom in. Control plus. So we'll get the pan tool one more time. So this is going to be where our tire would be. Let's pan down a little bit more. Okay, so we would basically start drawing in here, <clears throat> or actually we could do, let's get our offset, or actually get a line tool, click on the drawing mode, line tool, and we would take, maybe from here, let's just, just go straight over. Go up a little bit. We create kind of a rectangle. Select, click off, grab the tool there. We go straight up, get the select tool to click off. Now we go ahead and trim. Now we get our three point arch here to create a radius for the tire. It's going to be, let's just make it 1.0. Okay, now I'll get it, the radius tool again. 1.0. All right, now we get, we have to go ahead and get rid of this piece in the middle there, get rid of these. Pull down the control key. And we're going to put our little tire cap on there. So we come from this point over to this point. Maybe right about there. Go ahead and delete this. Now we would just come in here and start. We could actually do like a midway point line. Go ahead and select the click off. We could right mouse click on that, create mirror. Then we go ahead and start drawing our uh, doesn't have to be perfect. It's just going to be a little tire right here. Okay. Go ahead and get rid of that line in the center as a mirror line. Then we go ahead and let's just make our little line there. Go ahead and get our trim away tool. Trim away these pieces. This would be the basis of our tire. Go ahead and control minus to zoom out. Go ahead and spin. This may or may not work. I don't know. We're going to have to see. So we'll say pull. Click on that. Say revolve around the midpoint. Say full pull. Okay. Then we have to control minus. We have to click on this and actually scale it in. Make it a little smaller. Get 
search your portal. Oops. Go ahead and spin that. It's a little big. What we could do is go ahead and select the rim, triple click on the rim, and then we could scale that up. Looks like, looks like we lost the holes, so we'd actually have to put those holes back in there. But anyhow, that's the basics of, basis of your uh, rim and your tire. Uh, let's go ahead and add those circles back in. So go ahead and hit the plan view. Plan view. We'll go zoom in. We can pan up a little bit. Let's get our circle tool. Go ahead and say move, select that circle, change this to create pattern, drag this down to the center, click and drag it around until we got five. Go ahead and spin this, select, go pull, <clears throat> select all these holes by holding down the control key, and then we'll go ahead and uh, Pull these through. Okay, go ahead and spin. Well, we lost quite a bit of our uh, our hole there for the uh, for the axle. So let's see your control minus. Let me undo a few of these, see if we can get back to where we were before. Okay, before I revolved. All right, I think what the best way to do this is actually to move this piece. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go move, select that piece, move, and we're going to drag and move it over. Actually, let's go undo. Let's move this to up to. We'll go up to there since we know that's the center. And then we'll go click on it and we'll say move. And then we're going to drag this green, green handle there. Let's go ahead and spin this around. This will be the right way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and um, get our select tool, we'll click, we'll say move, and then we'll move this down so it's pretty close to where we want it to be. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and spin this around. This looks like that would be good. So we'll go ahead and do the pull. We'll click there. We'll say revolve. We'll pick this construction line that we added earlier. Pull, pull. Okay. Now we can go ahead and spin this. Now the tire is correct. Okay. Uh, let's control minus to zoom out. That's going to be our uh, tire tutorial, rim and tire tutorial. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and got something useful out of this. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching.